Hello, hello, hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm sharing with you just a quick 9 by 12 project life page. This is from my 2018 album and it's one of my September memories. I thought I'd share this one with you because I, I've sort of made a bit of a commitment to myself to uh, focus on finishing up my 2018 album and sometimes when I have a little spare moment I can sneak in and do a quick page and recently I was able to do that and I thought I'll just flick my camera on which was above me and I thought I'd share with you the process that I went through to make this quick layout. So most of the products I'm using here are from Pink Fresh Studio. You'll also see I've used some Project Life cards and they are from the amazingly talented Heidi Swap. And I've also used a few bits and bobs from some free printables that I got from the Hip Kit Club. Um, only only a little little dash of them every every now and then. Just those little flowers and a couple of those little titles that I've put on the bottoms of my f friends and myself photos. We went away on a scrappy weekend, which was absolutely lovely. We had ocean views. We had a beautiful veranda to sit out on. We were close to town, so we were able to go out and get dinner. And of course, most importantly, we were able to get creative together. So it was a lovely time, hence why I want to make sure it's well documented in my Project Life album. And part of that is just, well, of course, delighting in the memories, having a giggle at some of the photos. Um, but also what I really wanted to focus on today was making sure that I don't sort of derail from the theme that I have running through my album. And I find that as I am rushing to finish off at 2018, I'm my style is sort of starting to change just to try and get through it. So I've made a bit of a commitment here in this page just to stick to some of those fundamentals that have run throughout my album, which is making sure I have some white borders around my photos and doing some little black dashes um, around the edges of those white borders. You'll see me do that in a second. I've also added some pre-made Project Life our um, little cards that I'd custom made using the Rona Designs app. Uh, so that's a consistent theme throughout my album. And of course, most importantly, I wanted to make sure I added some journaling so that I can remember, you know, some, some little detail. It doesn't have to be a lot of journaling, but just remembering those little details, um, I think is really important. I'm not a... Well, I'm not gifted in the art of journaling uh, in the sense of I have a, I have my elder sister is amazing. She's a journalist by trade. And when she writes, it's almost poetic. I don't have that gift. Uh, I'm a bit more of a who, what, where, when girl. My I, I did a my study was in law. Um, so I'm very good at writing uh, in point form and very succinct quick sentences and I think that's translated into lots of aspects of my life including my Project Life album but I'm really trying to be mindful that this Project Life album not only benefits me in that it you know, it certainly helps my mental health to sit and be creative. It is allows me to delight in my memories, but it also allows my family to delight in these memories. And my children, uh, this is my first year of completing Project Life, and it has surprised me just how much my children have been interested and involved in the process and love seeing the end results. So it's it's been a lovely journey for me, which I do want to continue in 2019. Uh, and I've set some goals for myself around that. So I look forward to sharing some of those process videos with you when they get started. So here I am just adding some feature cards. This is a really good way of filling up space, but it's also a good way of just capturing a feeling or a moment. So this this card here, I think it said uh, bright, happy, bright, happy days. Well, it Lots of the ephemera and embellishments that you get are now very generalised. So you're able to match them up easily with moments that occur in your life. And that one, Bright Happy Days, it's beautiful gold foiled 
um, Pink Fresh Studio piece was perfect for that and it also allowed me to quickly fill in a card, not use up too much time at all and it sort of was coming together. So as you can see I've sort of set it out that um, my scrappy girls and I are in each of the corners and one in the middle which is sort of a bit of a pattern and I find that I tend to do that with my project life pages that I tend to set out a pattern. I wouldn't put uh, all the playing cards down one side and all the photos down another. I tend to try and spread them out, make them even. Sometimes when a photo, you're, the photo, the person in the image is looking a certain way, that might sit on the left or the right hand side of the layout so that the person's looking into the center of the layout. So I think about things like that as well. And it's sort of I, look, I'm not an artist, I don't know much about the formalities around composition, but I tend to go with what my gut tells me feels right. And looking at facial expressions and positioning your photos tends to help a layout, I feel, sort of settle in and come together. Um, and yeah, I don't know if that's making sense to you. I'd love to hear your thoughts in, in the comments below on do you do you take some time to set out your photos and where they go in the pockets? Do you look at what's happening in the images uh, to sort of centre them in the right position? Um, I'd love to know your thoughts on how you put together your project life pages. So here I am, I'm just finishing up now, just adding some dashes to keep that consistency through my album around my photos. I love the little dashes, they tend to pop off the page. Um, so who knows what I'll end up doing in my 2019 album. Adding a little few puffy hearts there, those little puffy hearts are super sweet and I just got them off eBay and there's my layout done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and I will catch you guys again really soon with another process video. Take care. Bye. Bye.